Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's Morning Prayer Service. This is Wednesday, October 2nd. We begin with the confession of sin found on page 12. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. We say together, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. Apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant a most merciful Father for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Venite, we say this together. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad at him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and the great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. We'll now move to the psalm reading. The psalm this morning will be Psalm 81, beginning on page 376. O oh, sing merrily unto God our strength. Make a cheerful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take the psalm, bring hither the timbrel, the merry harp with lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, even in the time appointed, and on our solemn feast day. For this was made a statute for Israel and a law of the God of Jacob. This he laid upon Joseph for a testimony when he came out of the land of Egypt. I eased his shoulder from the burden, and his hands were delivered from bearing the load. You called upon me in troubles, and I delivered you, and I answered you in the thundercloud and tested you at the waters of strife. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you, O Israel, if you will hearken unto me. There shall be no strange God among you, Neither shall you worship any other God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I shall fill it. But my people would not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I gave them up to the stubbornness of their hearts, and let them follow their own imaginations. Oh, that my people would have hearkened unto me that Israel had walked in my ways. I would soon have put down their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord would humble themselves before him and their time of punishment would endure forever. But Israel would I feed with the finest wheat flour, with the honey out of the stony rock would I satisfy him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now, reading this morning is from the first letter of Peter, the first chapter, beginning with the first verse. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ. To those who are elect exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, 
according to the foreknowledge of God the Father and the sanctification of the Spirit for obedience to Jesus Christ and for sprinkling with his blood. May grace and peace be multiplied to you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and inquired carefully, inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, and the things that have now been announced to you through those who preached the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. And if you call on him as father who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile, knowing that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. He was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for the sake of you, who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is found on page 81, the Curie Pantocrator. O Lord and ruler of the hosts of heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of all their righteous offspring, you made the heavens and the earth with all their vast array. All things quake with fear at your presence. They tremble because of your power. But you... But your merciful promise is beyond all measure. It surpasses all that our minds can fathom. O oh Lord, you are full of compassion, long-suffering, and abounding in mercy. You hold back your hand. You do not punish us as we deserve. In your goodness, Lord, you have promised forgiveness to sinners that they may repent of their sins and be saved. And now, O oh Lord, I bend my, the knee of my heart and make my appeal sure of your gracious goodness. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I know my wickedness only too well. Therefore, I make this prayer to you. Forgive me, Lord, forgive me. Do not let me perish in my sin, nor condemn me to the depths of the earth. For you, O Lord, are the God of those who repent, and in me you will show forth your goodness. Unworthy as I am, you will save me in accordance with your great mercy. And I will praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For all the power 
of heaven sing your praises and yours is the glory to ages of ages. Amen. The Apostles' Creed is found on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day O merciful Lord, grant to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On Wednesdays, we have a special prayer focus for missionaries that Christ the King supports. Almighty Father, everlasting God, we praise you and worship you and thank you for your love for us. I would lift up, Lord, to you this day, Jean Johnson, our missionary with crew in uh, Denver, and I pray that you would bless her ministry and allow her to reach many in your name and to your glory. I would also lift up CareNet, uh, and pr I pray for the unborn and ask that you would, would provide for them and allow this ministry to help uh, in, these, in the difficult times that these mothers are going through. Thank you, Lord, for caring for them. Yes, Lord, we, we do thank you that you have always given uh, the people of Christ the King a heart for outreach, um, a generous heart for outreach. We have uh, and a heart that continues to look for uh, not only a, a faithful continuing of supporting uh, mission and outreach for decades, but a heart to look for uh, new ways, new places to support missionaries and forms of outreach. And uh, so we ask you, Lord, to continue to show us uh, the things you would have us support, show us the things you would have us focus on now as being uh, immediately important and the things that can be set aside for a season. Uh, you've always been so faithful in that, Lord. We thank you for that. And as always, I pray that you will bring to each one of us in our daily prayers an urgency to hold up Father Pete and Beth in our prayers and Father Kyle and Becky and their, their family, that we will hold these men who've answered your call up every day to be kept 
uh, strengthened and healthy and their families well as they do your will in our congregation and in this world which so sorely needs your presence and your guidance. All of these things we ask in your name. Amen. We continue with a prayer of St. John Chrysostom, found on page 26. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you are promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.